Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you how I made all of these frames. They're all from the Dollar Tree and all of the artwork in them, I either printed it out or painted it. And this is episode four of my home series. So if you haven't seen the past episodes, they will be linked down below. And also if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do that. And if you wanna see how I made these frames, just keep on watching. So the first frame that I'm going to show you will be the easiest one. So I'm just taking some silver paints and I am placing four dots on the glass. And for that I just measured the size of my artwork which is just the size of a regular piece of paper. And then I'm just going to connect those dots and just paint around it. I wanted for this frame, I wanted more of a rustic look since I'll be using this for a temporary holiday decoration. So I just wanted it to be silver but also kind of rustic and not perfect at all so that's why I'm just using a regular brush and I'm just freehanding it and I actually did like the look of this as you will see in the final result and then I just finished painting the blank space and that's pretty much it once it dries I just place my artwork in it and to hold it in place I just used two pieces of tape which you will see later in another frame and by the way I did just print out the image from Google And that brings us to the next frames, which I will show you how I did that. So first of all, I looked up a hard background on Google, as you can see, and then I didn't like any of those. So I looked for a black and white hearts background. And I just want to point out that I filmed this little part after I did the frames. So the images are not the exact same. So I just looked for the most similar that I could see at the moment. But yeah, you just find whatever you like and do that. So I found this background, saved it, and then I looked for a black and white stripes background. And I like these bigger lines, so I also saved that. And since I won't be doing anything else to this particular one, I just went ahead and printed it right away. So when you're printing it, just make sure that you have it in the direction that you want your artwork to be. I wanted a landscape, so I just changed that in the settings, as you can see. And then I also changed it to scale to fit so that it fits more in the paper, if you saw that. And then I still had some blank space on the sides, so I just went in with a Sharpie and completed the lines, just because that's how I wanted the page to be but you do whatever you like. So then for the next one, I just opened a blank page on Microsoft Word. Before I do anything, I wanna make sure that I change my margins to narrow and my orientation to landscape. And then once I do that, I open my heart background and then I start dragging the sides so that my background fills my entire page. So next I'm going to move on to the insert tab and I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to just draw that right on top of my background and I'm going to make sure that it is filled in with white paint and that it has no borders. Then once I do that, I'm just going to write whatever message I want. In this case, I'm writing love somebody and I am using the lobster font. You can just Google this font and download it completely for free as long as you don't use it for commercial purposes. So once I'm happy with my message, I'm just going to open up a heart image. You can just do this from the images that Microsoft Word offers, or you can just Google your own as I did. Once I open that image, I'm going to go to layout and make sure that under wrap text, thorough is selected just so that I can move my image easily. And then once I reshape it and resize it and move it around, I can just print it out. And I did print the same heart by itself, just like way bigger for the image with the stripes as you'll see later. And when I filmed this, I had different images, but the end result will be different as you'll see later. So these two hearts, I just used the same gold paint. I just sprayed it into a cup and took a brush and painted them. So now moving on to the actual frames, I just took a white sheet of paper, put some tape on the back of it, and then placed that on the glass. I thought this would be enough, but to be honest, it wasn't. If you do this, I recommend you put more tape around it because the paper was kind of moving a little bit. 
so I didn't have perfect lines so I had to clean up the edges at the end so if you put more tape or use maybe double-sided tape around the whole thing that will give you a perfect result but I did have to clean up some imperfections this part is pretty self-explanatory just go crazy with the spray paints make sure you do it from a distance so that you have an even finish and make sure you do two coats so then at this point i'm just removing that paper and like i said i did have some imperfections here and there it's not a big deal i just went in with some paint thinner and cleaned up the edges and the end result was pretty great so this is what i mentioned earlier about taping the artwork onto the frame you just put two pieces of tape and the back of the frame will just hold that in place you don't need to put anything else and that is it for these frames these live in my office they give me kate spade vibes so super appropriate and now for the third and last type of frames i printed these two photos from my printer that's why the quality is not great but that's okay with me these are from my wedding as you can see so these frames are so easy to make it is ridiculous uh you just basically print whatever you want take some white sheets of paper i did use two for filming but then later i realized that if you use four it looks more opaque once you put your artwork so four sheets of paper is best and i just tape them in place so they don't move around once i turn them and then that's pretty much it you just tape your artwork onto the sheets of paper and then place the back of the frames and that's basically it it is that easy it is that inexpensive and it just looks so beautiful i did so many of these i literally bought like 25 frames from the dollar tree i'm obsessed with them these two particular frames are at the entrance of my apartment if you saw my holiday home tour you saw that these two are at the entrance of my bedroom and then this gallery wall is on top of my tv in my living room and if you saw my holiday home tour you probably saw that as well you can get so creative with these frames you can use brown paper pattern paper holiday marble paper you can paint the frames you can just get so creative and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe